I wish to share some devotional reflections uh, with you today on Tuesday, August the 17th, uh, 2021. This is following all the scenes that we have seen in Afghanistan uh, with uh, the pullout of uh, American troops, uh, with uh, Afghanis uh, rushing to the airport to uh, try and find uh, their way onto the latest flight uh, out of uh, Afghanistan, as well as uh, some of the horrific scenes we've seen of uh, people uh, grasping on to uh, the landing apparatus of, um, of uh, flights taking off and then falling to their deaths. What awful, awful scenes these are, and I'm sure that you have been moved by them as I have been moved uh, by them as well. And I have a few comments that I'd like to uh, pass along from Psalm 137, and then a few things uh, in light of uh, our nation as well as, uh, most importantly, our our Christian faith uh, that we uh, share one with another as brother and sister in Christ in this time. First, these words from Psalm 137, a very sad psalm, uh, but we need to read these sad psalms at times as they can help us uh, with uh, sad uh, situations like the one that we're in right now. By the waters of Babylon, there we sat down and wept when we remembered Zion. On the willows there we hung our lyres, for there our captors required of us songs and our tormentors mirth, saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. You can hear the sadness there as uh, the psalmist uh, relates what it was like to be uh, taken out of Israel and to be placed in Babylon, the place where there was uh, oppression and the place where there was evil. And what does he do? But he sits down and weeps for the sorrow, for the things uh, that uh, he has seen and the things that he has experienced. And you can hear the uh, sadness even rise uh, as the captors ask him to sing them one of the songs of Zion, one of the songs uh, that are about uh, uh, being part of God's people and being in the land of blessing. Um, There is taunting there. And my guess, brothers and sisters, is that we will hear taunting that uh, will come to the American nation from the Taliban and others uh, around the world as a result of the things that have taken place Uh, in just these past few days. So if you are sad uh, with what it is that uh, you've seen, uh, as I am, uh, if you are disturbed, uh, please know that there are other brothers and sisters from time past who have wept and have been saddened by what it is that they have seen, and yet they have still been able to find some hope. I mentioned I'd comment uh, on our nation a little bit and then also on, uh, most importantly, the Christian uh, uh, kingdom uh, through this. Uh, It is not a help, of course, when our government makes promises that it cannot keep uh, to uh, internationals. And I hope that you will join me in praying for God's mercy for them as well as God's mercy for us uh, when promises are broken. We need to do our best, of course, brothers and sisters in Christ, as uh, keeping our word uh, one way or the other, and that is the standard that we should uphold uh, from God's word. For the Christian nation, of course, uh, this is a time of great sadness, too. It is a time of sadness when a repressive, militant Islamic regime comes into a country and uh, takes it over with uh, worries, of course, that there would be a rise in terrorism but especially that uh, there would be extra pressure on uh, brothers and sisters in Christ who are being faithful. So I hope that you will join me in praying for the persecuted church in Afghanistan. It's going to be especially hard in these next uh, number of weeks, next number of months. Now I do want to uh, conclude this devotional by uh, referring to some hope. Some hope that is there that uh, within uh, this psalm that I've read, uh, but also some hope uh, uh, from within this uh, building that uh, we uh, at Central Schmeichfelder Church in which we worship. I read uh, Psalm 137 verses 4 through uh, 6. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land as the sadness goes on? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. Let my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. Jerusalem, for the Israelite, uh, the place of uh, blessing, the place of comfort. For us as Christians, the heavenly Jerusalem, the place where God's uh, presence will dwell with his people, and there will be no more sorrow, there will be no more sadness, and there will be no more death. And we can take uh, 
pleasure in that today because that hope is still very much there. But there's also hope in this world, too, as I draw your attention to uh, something that's just at the back of this sanctuary. And if you've never been to our church, uh, the uh, founders of this church wrote above the exit door as one leaves, Lo, I am with you always. Lo, I am with you always. And to complete the verse, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. God has not abandoned us if we are true to him, if we are turning our hearts to him, if we are seeking his blessing first. So I invite you to do this, even in this difficult time. Turn to him, find his blessing, and find his assurance and hope for the future. For that has not changed at all, no matter what the things that we have seen over these last number of days. Will you join me now with a word of prayer, please? Father in heaven, we bring before you the problems in Afghanistan today. And Lord, we uh, pray, Lord, that uh, you would help our hearts uh, to uh, turn to you and that you would help us to repent at times if we have been untruthful to one or to another. And we pray, Lord, today for mercy on those in Afghanistan. Will you look after those who are struggling with the influx of the Taliban regime? Comfort them, strengthen them, and protect them and be their divine shield. And we especially pray for this today, Lord, for the Christian church that's there. Be with our brothers and sisters who are already in a persecuted land, but are expecting an increase in persecution. Help them, Lord, to be faithful. Keep them strong. And Lord, today, if we are in need of hope, we pray that you would provide that for us. Assure this through your word and through your spirit, for we know that you are with us always, even to the end of the age. Lord, please look after us even in these trying times. Bless Afghanistan, and certainly, Lord, please bless our country here in America as well. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. And may God's blessing be with you today.